Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about general characters of protozoa. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So the term protozoa comes from Greek words. In Greek, protos means first, and zoa means animal. So protozoa are first animal in our world. Now we will see some examples of protozoa because I believe if you know some names it will be easier for you to visualize them in your imagination before understanding their characters. Some examples are amoeba, ain't amoeba, Euglena, Paramecium, Plasmodium, Trypanosoma, etc. Morphology They are microscopic animals. You cannot see them in your naked eye. It is a single celled animal and eukaryotic. So remember this point always that protozoa are single celled eukaryotes. They exist single or in colonies. Cellular organization. So they have protoplasmic grade of organization. The protoplasm means it is cytoplasm plus nucleus. That is protoplasm. The protoplasm is divided into outer ectoplasm and inner endoplasm. So we will see in this picture. This is the cell of protozoa. This is plasma membrane of the cell. This is the ectoplasm. It is the periphery area of protoplasm and this is endoplasm. So that is the central area of protoplasm. They have some food vacuoles, they have nucleus, they have contractile vacuole. Body is naked or covered by pellicle. Body means just a cell here. So some of them contain just a plasma membrane around this single cell and are called naked. Like this cell, it has only the plasma membrane. It is a naked cell. Some of them are covered by pellicle. So pellicle is an outer covering around plasma membrane. They do not have tissues or organs. Nucleus is present. We have seen in this picture, this is the nucleus. This is the nucleus here. Locomotor organelles. So, pseudopodia, flagella, cilia, these are different types of locomotor organelles which are present in protozoa. Nutrition. They have different types of nutrition. Holozoic nutrition is like animal-like nutrition. Holophytic nutrition. It is plant-like nutrition. Saprozoic nutrition. That means they feed on dead materials. Parasitic. So they live on or inside the body of the host and derive food from the host. Feed on bacteria, organic matter, etc. So these are their food. Digestion. Intracellular digestion occurs. Intracellular means digestion takes place inside the cell. Particularly inside the food vacuole. So, food vacuole we have seen here. 
These are food vacuoles and digestion takes place inside these food vacuoles. Next is respiration. So respiration occurs by diffusion through general body surface because they do not have any respiratory system. They have just a single cell. So through general body surface means through the cell the respiration occurs by diffusion. Circulation or circulatory system is absent. Excretion it occurs through general body surface. That means against the excretion occurs via the cell. Contractile vacuoles are there which perform osmoregulation and they help in removing excretory products. So we can see Contractile vacuoles here. These are contractile vacuoles. So they help in the osmoregulation and they also help in removing excretory products. These contractile vacuoles are analogous to our kidney. They are ammonotelic because the waste material is ammonia here. Reproduction. Both asexual and sexual reproduction occur here. In asexual reproduction, binary fission, multiple fission, budding, sporulation, these are different types of asexual reproduction. And in sexual reproduction, gamete formation occurs, conjugation occurs. So these are different types of sexual reproduction. In cement, a thick wall around the cell. It is a thick, tough wall that is formed around the cell sometimes. It protects them from unfavorable conditions. Because they have just a single cell, it is very delicate. Therefore, sometimes they form a tough and thick wall around the cell that is called cyst. And it protects them from unfavorable environmental condition. Habitat. They are aquatic, sometimes terrestrial, free living or parasitic. So this is all about today's lecture.